I've got a filter system here that just is not handling the water in this tank. It's an 11,000 litre tank and we don't seem to be circulating the water fast enough. Um, it goes through a sand filter and through a biofilter from there through a UV light and back in and that's what you're getting over here. And a, part, a portion of water is getting sent to a 12 metre garden and that's what you're getting flowing down. So we had to add to this and we're going to show you how we added this. Um, as you can see here, um, I've got all the fish swimming in the pond and we've got a lot of muck that's floating around in the pond. Um, and you'll see in the background there's a window obviously in the pond that, that you can see in and we're trying to get rid of this muck by adding the extra filter. Uh, uh, we took from the pump, TP stuff off to an extra filter and the other sand filter and everything still works as is. So we're going to show you where this comes out and what kind of system we put in there. Alright, the, the water is coming up from, from the pond through here, so this is dirty water and it's flowing through here, you can actually see it separating pieces of dirt get, get carried on into the pipe and that gets thrown into this outside world filter it's a little external filter with bags and um, so the, the balance of the water now is falling in behind the screen um, I'm just going to lift this quickly so you can have a look that's where the, the back is So this, this is all loose, so you can actually set, set it so it can drag the, 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 the water. Um, this is the, the little overflow pipe. So this is the excess water that's, that's dragging the muck into, into, the, into a bag. And you can really see the, the amount of gunk in there. And that muck now, and, and the excess water, now passes through the bucket into your, your second filter. Now your second filter is run with these little apples, little sieve, it's a, it's a mesh that we've made, I've, I've shown you already in the first one how, how we actually make it um, just by folding them in and out like that and this is full of those with a whole bunch of these little uh, bio balls. So they, now they're all a bit fresh, that's why they're not full of algae and, and everything at this stage, but they will be. The stainless steel mesh that we put on here was to stop the bio balls from getting into our overflow here, which leads into our third tank. And uh, this third tank, uh, it's, it's, this is quite important. Um, <coughs> and it filters up through the stone. This is called Kleiner fish. Um, it absorbs uh, ammonias and also has its filtration. If you smell this water, it is absolutely clean. And if you smell the water in the beginning, um, it is really fishy. When it comes to cleaning, um, that is normally a nightmare. So we've got a, a waste in the bottom of each one and that leads into the garden. Um, these stand, stand pipes that you're seeing over here, and Alex will show you. These pipes, no. these, these pipes lead right down to the bottom, and uh, we would be blowing air with a with a, a blower to to actually create like a washing machine effect in here. Right, that's that's the amount of water that's flowing in from the filter system. So it's a pretty good amount of water. And if you compare that to the amount that's flowing in from um, the the little garden, the 12 meter uh, uh, garden uh, uh, filter, and that is flowing in from a sand a two bag sand filter uh, with bio balls and obviously the UV so between the three of these flows um, we should get clear water now that's the 12 meter garden from the top all 
Right. Um, we're starting here now with the with the with the actual building of this pond, and I'm going to talk you through. Basically, we did a, a, a wall, a quite a high wall, about 700 mils higher than the other drums. Uh, this was to get our flow right. Right. Um, we cut off the top of the drums. These were plastic oil drums originally from from one of the depots. Um, you can turn the lid upside down, it works perfectly, it, it fits really well and seals off uh, for leaves and that. But then we did all the waste fittings, put those on, and then we started with the uh, primary waste removal uh, setup. Um, I got hold of a laser machine and cut two pieces of perspex on top of each other, um, and leaving that little ring. Um, this was later for the sock. Um, that you, you see here um, that would actually fit over the ring um, here you see I'm fitting it uh, I've, I've stretched the sock over and then that now slides into the hole and slots into position here I was just setting up the bucket um, so that we, we could catch the waste this now is in the primary drum where we had to put a buffer plate in uh, we had to first heat it up and bend it, and then bolted it in place. Um, then we started fitting uh, the pipe for the primary waste. Um, this pipe had a slot in it, um, and we needed some conduit to hold uh, the, the actual stainless steel mesh. Um, this mesh, we, we pop riveted it on, onto the conduit. And that slotted into place. Now we had to build the whole primary waste like spreader. Um, that was just with a uh, drill two holes, cut a slot in it, and bent it open with with the heat gun again. Um, all these fittings are not glued, so that you can adjust it up and down. Um, this is mainly just setting up, and then we needed to make the little apples with netting. Um, so this is standard netting that we used. Um, we folded the, the, the netting in and out about 15 times at least. Um, and then cut it off. And you land up with a bunch of beautiful apples. Then we started with the with the air, the, the air cleaning system. Um, this is standard uh, filter thing that you'd buy in for a sand filter. And that we put into the bottom. I just used a, a plastic net to to put over the top of this um, and that's basically to hold or so you don't have balls in that uh, uh, blocking your waste then we had our inflows put in we are just showing a couple of the drilling the holes and fitting the tank fittings um, then we we're getting to the final where we had the inlet and outlet and we put the lids back on um, there was your second filter that's got the bio balls and the, the apples and this is the Kleiner fish, your third and final one just before it goes to the tank. And that's the complete system. Good luck and enjoy building it. It works like a bomb. <laughs>